Good morning, everybody. We said we were gonna have an exciting weekend, and we are, but we're having like an exciting, relaxing weekend. We're back in Fort Wilderness just to walk around because it's like 8, 10 in the morning on Saturday. But it's 73 degrees, it's beautiful out, there's not, there's barely a cloud in the sky. And we brought a little friend with us. Look at that. We got Eve with us this morning. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. We gotta go this way. <laughs> Full disclaimer. Recently, Fort Wilderness, Yacht Club, Riverside, Riverside, and Art of Animation. Yes. Just as of five days ago, have or six days ago, have started allowing dogs to stay in the resorts. I don't know if we are technically allowed to bring Eve. Security let us through and knew about Eve. He made a joke about need, her needing to get walked and me needing to get walked. <laughs> he did. He was nice. He was honest though. And it had nothing to do with the dog, it had to do with capacity because we didn't have a reservation for somewhere to eat or the, or the hotel here. So the guy was like, it's early enough because it, we got in here at eight. He's like, it's early enough, to, I'm gonna let you park, but in the future, you can't do that <laughs> on the, in the future. You can't do that on Fridays and Saturdays because of how busy they are here. He said they average 2,500 the rooms. The rooms plus all the reservations, this plus is, all the recreation. This is probably one of the largest resorts on property so I completely understand that and they need that for the guests that are paying and staying here so thank you customer Mike for letting us for letting us park here and I mean we were honest too we said you know we and they saw he saw Eve and he said that's fine and we said we're only gonna be here for an hour we're gonna come here walk to the beach so we can have Eve run on the beach and then go back home Tell you, if this wasn't at least 50% of the reason why we moved here, I don't know what is. Just to do stuff like this. Mm -hmm. This is living the life. Kristen used to work here, right? Or if no, Wilderness Lodge. Lodge. And had told us before even they implemented the new dog rule for those four resorts that dogs were allowed here at Fort Wilderness, which I believed kind of, but I think it was one of those like unspoken things. I don't know if it was actually down in paper anywhere. Because there were signs at different points that said like no pets beyond this point and we've seen them before and I think it's because it's like a more nature and there's campers and RVs that they were allowed but so we were kind of thinking about doing this before they did the hotel rule but it's just it makes it a little easier even more doing it after see is love and life love and life I just, her. both of you and I just can't wait to get her on the, the shores of Bay Lake she loves running on sand. Back in Chicago when we'd go on walks, we had these three baseball diamonds right by our apartment. She would just run in circles because she loves the way her little pads sound on the uh, on the sand. Like a little horse. Like, thru, thru, thru. So we also forgot to tell you that the other half of the reason we were coming today is to check out people's Halloween decorations. What are these people from Miami, Florida? This is Stuart. Well, I bet they come here all the time. Look at them. They got Mickey's in their windshield. Look at that. And the pirate. They're doing it up. I love this. Could we do this one day? Yeah. I think that'd be a fun little tradition to do. Yeah. Because I think we would still even, like, we used to camp every summer living in Chicago. And it'd be cool to have a, a camper of some sorts to do just for, like, a maybe, like, a long weekend oh living close. Look at these stormtroopers. Oh my god, I need to, we need to Snapchat Jenna this. Oh, they each have little lights on them. So at night they can be lit up. They make noise. Oh my god, that Eve, okay. Eve hated that. It's okay. It's just a little... There's candy in it. Wow. Good job, guys. Isn't it delicious?
Are we gonna take her off the leash? It depends if these dogs over here are coming in. Okay. But she's loving life. Yeah. We never knew this dog park was here, but it's really nice and fenced in. Are you gonna be active? So our little Eve, who has met only a handful of dogs, and most of them were city dogs, just did so well with all those big, they were all puppies. There was not, there was only one dog older than a year old. She did good, but lay right here. she's getting a little tired. Come on, we're gonna show you Bay Lake and then we'll go home. Her eyes popping out of her head when they were all off their leashes, running around. We kept Eve on her leash because I don't think yeah. I don't think there would have been an issue with her off the leash. I think there would have been an issue of getting her back on the leash. Yeah. That's a, it was a big of catching her. It was a big enclosure. I don't know until she's a little bit older and we can like we can like bring it to smaller dog parks first. Break her, in. break her into the whole dog park scene. Come on, we're going this way. We're almost there, just around the river bend. All right, so we are over here. I forgot what this Pioneer, we're right in front of Pioneer Hall, or I'm in, right in front of Pioneer Hall. We're easy going people, so it takes a lot to get us irked or angry or frustrated, Cause especially because this one was kind of our own fault. We had the idea of coming here with the dog to walk her and take her on a good long walk and show her around and everything and, and hopefully get her to the Bay Lake so she can run on the sand because she loves that kind of stuff and she hasn't been able to do that yet. Since we moved, dogs aren't allowed past a certain point towards Pioneer Hall, which makes sense. Didn't think about that before, but it's okay. I walked over and got some coffee and got some water because Eve needed. Eve got some water at the the dog park, but she was a little preoccupied with all the other animals to actually drink up on on some water. So I, I know she's I know she's jonesing for it. So I got some some ice cold water and ice cubes because she loves munching on those. So we'll. We'll feed her some of the water and everything before we head back to the car. I think she's ready for a nap. And Sarah might have shown her the, the horses over there. Did you see the horses? What'd she think? She was very interested. She was just calm, cooling. I horses. think she's tired. Yeah. I think she wants some ice and some water. Yeah. This little chicken doesn't want to eat the ice cube that I put on the ground. Instead, she wants to go bobbing for ice cubes. Eve. Eve. How, that's gotta be freezing and frustrating. Is your whole nose in there? Yeah. <laughs> Eve, you are, your stout is covered. Eat this one. You are a strange little pup. Um, there's turkeys right here. And Eve like wants to go play with them. She's never seen wild turkeys before. Just lay down, Eve. One, two, three, four, five. Five? Six? There's one laying down over there. There's six. Six turkeys and a little Eve. I feel like we keep doing like time machine things to you guys because it's like four hours later, five hours, six hours. It's like six hours later. We went home. Edited a vlog, did some dishes, cooked some food, hung out with Eve, did some laundry, did all that good, good, uh, responsible things. And now we're at the Magic Kingdom, and it is a busy day. Look who's out and about today. It's Jim. It's our favorite, it's our favorite piano player, sir. Look at this cute little stuffed Dole Whip. $14.99. And for the time being, it's in this little shop. But Sarah heard that this is going away. No, this is staying. That already went away where there's just the seating. Oh, and, and that's to be shops too. and that's going to become a bar. That'll be cool. Be interesting. Pirates is 55 minutes right now to give you kind of a frame of reference of the wait times. Treasure of the Seven Seas. Hmm. You're gonna open up the map and you're gonna look for the symbol of the parrot. Okay. Ooh. All right. So you're gonna find that now in Adventureland. When you do, put that same magic band to the mark and it tells you where to go next. Just follow directions. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you.
You guys should play? Yes. Thank you, Lord. No. One park ticket or one match? So this is a free thing. It's fun. Oh, we don't know if it's fun yet, but it's a it's a <laughs> in park treasure hunt. And this is a pirate adventure, Treasure the Seven Cursed Seas. And we're doing Guardians, Guardians Curse first. So here's the map we got. Yeah. And so we signed up. And it says the first thing we have to do is yeah, look like, for... On the screen it showed us the parrot. <laughs> on the handle of the blunderbuss is a carving of a parrot. Press the talisman to the carving to get the attention of the survey bird nearby. I know where it is. I know where it's it is. It's a scurvy bird. It's a scurvy bird. And that you the the talisman is your magic band or yes. park ticket. And we use Sarah's. Okay. I'm this is fun. Nice. Yeah. Especially like on a day like today where there are really long rides or long lines. It's kind of a nice way to break our fast passes. Yeah. So here's the scurvy bird. And it says touch. Ooh! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm just the messenger. I'll be delivering your message to the captain presently. Maybe. The treasure of the Indian Ocean. I had it in my hands. But you and Jack Sparrow tricked me. While you receive its power, I receive its curse. Oh, we found the treasure. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's right there. Yes. But now we have, that's the first treasure. We have six yes. more, I think. Oh my goodness. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, we're on to our second map called Wait, oh, Haven Defense. The, the, I think the, it was snake. the snake. Haven Defense. And we just found out that we got this cool card for, for doing the Guardian's Curse with the jewels in the back. And we found out that you get met, you get a fast pass at the end of completing your second map. That's awesome. I would take the fast pass, but I think we should finish all the maps. <laughs> all of them? I think we should finish all the maps. It doesn't take long. Yeah. Here's this map. map. It's a different one, still of Adventureland. Hmm. Seek the snake charmer's flute and touch your talisman on the cobra. Uh, we think we found it. We're by the snakes and the snake charmer. We're collecting venom. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> that almost got me. Look over here, on the face of the armoire. That magical mark will show you where to find the next part of the spell. Oh. We're looking for the skull. The skull and crossbone. That's you. So doing this is a lot of fun because it's it's like a free thing. And we were talking about how we never really got into Sorcerers of Magic Kingdom and now it's kind of hard because there's so many different cards. And that's what that is. That's Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom, but we're gonna go over here. I think we should find the ball and shackles right here. Yep. Side note, really quick, no idea. I knew this was here because you can see it walking past. I had no idea these skulls were here. Absolutely zero idea. I just feel like sometimes they might have you go through the whole thing, but maybe on slower days there's not as many. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I think it's well thought out. I think it's a lot different because the last map we didn't do three of the emblems. And this map, it looks like we're not doing two of them. So I think it's got a way of knowing how busy and how many people. All right, so we just completed the last one. Now we got the King's Ransom. And these are the cards we got for completing the Haven Defense. And we, we got, got passes. for Pirates of Caribbean that expire on Halloween. So in 10 days. Yes, it is quite lovely hourglass. We have to look at the symbol of the boats, and there's a boat. Well done, crew. You found the treasure of the Arctic. So here is the card and the back, the front and back side of the King's Ransom card that we got. And now we're doing <laughs> Heads You Lose. October 1. Ooh. The treasure of the Pacific is somewhere on this blasted island. I know it. We found the treasure chest with the carving in it. Oh, the blow dart. Oh, oh, what oh, I don't know where to stand. Ah. I just like the music. Some able-bodied missing pilot. March on off. All right, so we're on our fifth and final map, and it's by Blackbeard. We're going to the wheel the first. Wheel. Oh, look at all the ships. Uh -oh. oh no. We surrender. It's sunk. Alright, I believe we found it. 
The symbol of the swords. Ooh. Oh, look at that treasure. The treasure of the Mediterranean power is mine. How dare you steal it from me? Ooh, that's kind of scary. I think we just got cursed. Ah, well done, crew. What tells you that there's nothing to be afraid of? Oh, I never pay you all. Of we're captains of we're cursed, but we're captains we're captains of adventure. Let's go get our last card. Yes. Two sets. So here's the, the last card we got for Blackbeard. The front and back of the Blackbeard card. And this says this is the Pirate Adventure. And it says you are obviously a master treasure hunter and a worthy pirate. And they gave us another set of Pirates of Caribbean Fast Passes. So we've got two sets now. Awesome. What shall we do next? Head over to Barnstormer. Okay. <laughs> We're back at our Frontierland garbage can. We just claimed it as that. We went to get this because I want to use it for a jug of water. Look how cute it is. Super cute. It was we 10 got... bucks with a slush in there, but we got $2 off because of the annual pass. And the customer gave us these nachos for free. She was super nice. I just want to point out that I ate nachos in my white top. Oh, wait. That's I just... all I want. I just want to point out that we're going on a ride that we have not gone on since we moved here. Yay. It's we been almost three months. We got a Fast Fast 4. The Great Goofing Me. Also known as the Barnstormer. This ride is super good, but it's super quick. So I don't like to wait for it. I think I've only been on this ride three times in my whole life. I almost got my head on, and the cast member reminded me. It's the biggest thrill of our life. I'm not even right in, I've been recording for 55 seconds. <laughs> Sarah just thought that, that was my hat, but it's not, I think. It's a common place. <laughs> I think it's a common place for hats to fall. All right, you know where we're at now. What's the new tactic you're gonna try? Somebody told me to just pull down on the button. And so I tried to press it over and over again. I'm gonna try it too, so we'll see how we do. Got it again. Now I know, I think it's my eight. Nobody knows it yet, but we're doing a mission tonight. 
we're gonna try to be the last people in this park. I know it's it's a ridiculous thing because we may end up being here until 1 or 1.30 in the morning because the park closes at midnight, but that's when they cut off the lines. That's when people can still shop on Main Street until like 1 a.m. But we enjoyed our the, the shows just now. We haven't actually watched Once Upon a Time since we moved here. We've seen it before, but not since we moved here. And then we were hanging out with Sarah and Sean. They're um, Disney, Disney vloggers. Yeah. We'll put their stuff over here and check them check their stuff out. They they have a lot of exciting things that they're going to be doing. <laughs> Give them a look. It is midnight, the park is closed. She's not gonna make it. Yes, I do. I'm not gonna make it. We do this every time. This is her whole kingdom right here. This is called Fantasy Land. This is where Walt was the happiest. Over there on his horses. To Main Street? Or to the castle? Hub and then we just kinda camp out until they drag us out. Okay, so first of all, we didn't make it. It's 12.30. We're leaving. Look at There's a wait time for the express monorail. To be honest, I don't think we've ever taken the express monorail out. So let us know how old that is because that's brand new to us. That's amazing. Yeah. Monorail's walking up or pulling up now, but so we decided we're not going to be at the park all day. The day that we decided to be the last guests. We're also not going to pick a day that the park closes at midnight. Because if we picked a park... You just heard that security leaves at 2.30. Yeah, so if security leaves at 2.30, Main Street's probably here till open till 1 or 1.30. Stragglers, long lines. So if we come on a day where Magic Kingdom closes at 9, even if we were here till midnight, we'd be the last guest at midnight after three hours of it being closed, not 3 a.m. after three hours of it being closed. See, you guys are saying. It's our same. We made a very hard decision just now that we're not thrilled about, but we're doing it anyway. Did you know you could even do this? Yeah, a lot of people don't realize this. When you park, if you drive to Magic Kingdom, and you park in the Magic Kingdom parking lot, you can walk to the front of the parking lot, the TTC. Rather than, taking, rather than taking these trams that you're gonna see. The trams are great. The trams are great because the people on there are kinda like skippers. They're hilarious. But the line It really, like, everything's magical about Disney, but for some reason there is a little glitch, yeah. and that glitch is called the line waiting for a tram at, at the park close. I squished in a row with people I did not know. It's so tight because they just, like, refused to, like, knock it on. Yeah. So, we're actually going to walk back to our car. But I think we're going to call from here. we got to go home and go to bed, and I think we're going to go to studios tomorrow. Um, Sarah's mad at me right now. We're having a fight all day today about the only thing that Peter and Sarah broke our fight about, which is the fact that I'm wearing jeans and flip flops. Right in the comments below. Let us know down below what you think. Sarah thinks it's absolutely. What did I say? You said it's absolutely not acceptable. No, but what did I? Say? I said it was appalling, or I said something. I was talking to my sister at the same time, and she was like, "Those are very harsh words." Yeah, she said it's appalling that I would wear them in general, but especially going to Walt Disney World and the Magic Kingdom. Why would I wear flip-flops and jeans? I love it. I just love it. Yes, we're amazing in the Woo! Bye guys! Um, I just, to be home? I love wearing flip-flops and jeans. Let us know down below if you disagree, agree, or you are uncertain. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>